Democratic presidential candidate Jay Inslee requested a debate topic to the DNC for the, um, you know, 2020 primary. And that topic is climate change. Here's what happened next. Today, my team received a call from the Democratic National Committee letting us know that they will not host a climate debate. Further, they explained that if we participated in anyone else's climate debate, we will not be invited to future debates. This is deeply disappointing. The DNC is silencing the voices of Democratic activists, many of our progressive partner organizations, and nearly half of the Democratic presidential field who want to debate the existential crisis of our time. Democratic voters say that climate change is their top issue. The Democratic National Committee must listen to the grassroots of the, of the party. Quote, we are running out of time. We've kicked the can down the road for too long. The climate crisis merits a full discussion of our plans, not a short exchange of talking points. The next president must make defeating the climate crisis the top priority of the nation, and I will continue to do everything I humanly can to ensure that climate, that climate change is at the top of the national agenda. So, um, wow. Let me repeat that. He got a call, his team got a call from the DNC, and they said, we're not going to host a climate debate, and furthermore... If you participated in anyone else's climate debate, you're not going to be invited to any future debate. So you made the first debate, you'll be in that, but you're not going to go to any future debates. I don't know how any one organization can routinely get so much wrong. Well, actually, I do know. The RNC is like that. <laughs> but the DNC is really bad as well. I mean, what the fuck are you doing, bro? You have to at least, even like, you have to know the optics of this. Now, the counter-argument is, well, no, all the candidates signed an agreement with the DNC early on that only the DNC hosts the official debates. So technically, if Jay Inslee wanted to do a climate change forum, um, he could do that, but you'd have to call it a forum for whatever kind of technical reasons or legal reasons. I don't fucking know. But the fact that the DNC doesn't get the optics of that. Because listen, one of the issues that is always missing from... Uh, presidential elections and the debates is climate change. Oftentimes, homelessness is missing. They never talk about homelessness, ever. Poverty, they even rarely mention poverty. They'll talk about the middle class, but they'll never talk about poverty or homeless people. But another thing that's missing is climate change. They just don't value it as much as it should be valued, as much as it should be discussed. I mean, it is a crisis. It requires mass mobilization ASAP yesterday, yesteryear, but they're just like, <laughs> I don't know, man, doesn't affect me right now, so not really thinking about it. Actually, it does kind of affect all of us right now. I mean, this is why we're seeing, as all the evidence shows, all the data shows, and scientists have expounded on in the past, we're seeing the effects of it right now. You know, more powerful hurricanes happening more often, droughts that last longer, um... The list goes on and on. We've seen, like, year after year, all oh, record heat this year, all oh, record heat the next year. It just keeps happening. So perhaps the worst effects haven't taken hold yet, but they're coming. And Jay Inslee knows that, and he wants to stop it, and the DNC is doing everything they can to not accommodate him. Now, Jay Inslee is not on my list of, like, you know, top contenders or people I would vote for in the primary. But having said that, I think... It's good that there's somebody out there who's running and putting climate change front and center because it is incredibly important. And I think the DNC is as shitty as we already knew they were. I mean, imagine doing that and not expecting the backlash. Like, for them to actually say, no, we're not going to host a climate change debate, you could have easily just said yes. I mean, how many debates are there scheduled? There's definitely enough where one of them can be on climate change. I mean, I guess there's a fair count argument to say, well, then why not do one on Medicare for all alone or healthcare alone? Why not do one on, I don't know, war alone? So, I mean, that's a fair counter argument. And yes, maybe you open Pandora's box. But at the very least, you could have said, you know what? We understand how big of an issue this is. So therefore, if you wanted to set up your own climate change debate and invite others will, on this one instance, look the other way and you don't have to call it a forum, you can call it a debate and you could set it up like a debate because that was the key, he wanted to set it up like a debate. So, the DNC, tone deaf and wrong as always.